Hello everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how to download and install Interactive Rosetta for Windows computers. The process has been simplified quite a bit and only requires using two installers. First, you need to download and install Pi Rosetta. Let me take you to the download page. This is the Pi Rosetta main download page. The link for this website is in the video description. You need to get a license from Rosetta Commons before you can download Pi Rosetta. The license is free for academic use. A commercial license is also available, but you will have to pay a licensing fee for it. This link right here will take you to the licensing page. Once you have the license, you will be sent a username and password that will allow you to download files from the Rosetta and Pi Rosetta websites. The latest Windows version is located right here. Enter your credentials and then download it to your computer. Please note that only 64-bit operating systems are supported. Unless you have an older computer you are probably already running 64-bit Windows. You can check by going to the Control Panel, System and Security, System, and then looking at the System Type field. Now you need to download a copy of Interactive Rosetta. It is located over here, and again the link is in the video description. Look at the topmost release. Scroll down to find the files for various operating systems, and download the Windows version. This software is free for all use, so all you have to do is accept the GNU General Public License when you install it. I have a copy of both installers located in this folder right here. You need to install Pi Rosetta first, so double click on its installer. Just accept the default for everything. I like to rename the folder in the start menu to Pi Rosetta instead of Rosetta. But you do not need to change that if you do not want to. It takes a minute or so to install. OK, now that Pi Rosetta is installed you can install Interactive Rosetta. Double click on the installer. When it asks you for the install location, make sure this is the location that you want. It defaults to C Program Files x86, but if you have installed it multiple times in the past it can try to install to a folder within the standard install location. Otherwise accept all the defaults. This will also take a minute or so to install. Once it is finished, it brings up this black window when it attempts to import some files from Pi Rosetta. This is why Pi Rosetta needs to be installed first. It may take a minute or so, but do not close the window while this is happening. Once it is done, you should have shortcuts to Interactive Rosetta on your desktop and in your Start menu. If I double click on the icon, it will start the program. And that is all there is to installing Interactive Rosetta in Windows. See you in the next video.